So there was a zoning meeting on January 11, 2017, and it was over this piece of property. Now this is Boat Club Road. It, it turns over here where Possum Lodge used to be. Uh, this is Harborview Estates, Lake Country over here, Boswell High School right here. The zoning meeting was about turning all this into A5 with one stroke of a brush. Uh, that's got a lot of neighbors pretty concerned. The big concern is that if you put the tight A5 that we've been duplicating down here where really the lake is starting and this has uh, got so much potential over here. One of the most important things that I don't know if we're seeing and what I'm hearing from the other neighbors is, is this orderly growth and then protecting existing property owners. So if you're adjacent to a lot of the stuff that seems like it's just being duplicated A5 without any opposition, uh, it seems like there's no hope for uh, the area down by Eagle Mountain Lake. We've got a lot of uh, trees, a lot of hills. Um, I think it's really, if you look at the map of Fort Worth, there's nothing like it in Fort Worth. Up here, Lake Country's here, Harbor Bee's here. So this site would come all the way over to this location, Harbor View adjacent to it. Um, again, Lake Country, North Fork over here. These are all acre, at least lots. Um, and then this site is this area here that they're talking about doing A5. Now, what I would say is I would say no more A5 north of Boswell Bailey. What, what seems to be happening is this is just getting duplicated, 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 duplicated. I don't have a problem with the A5. They need more parks, more sidewalks. If they're building on 5,000 square foot lots with two story buildings and five cars, then all those cars, they're not anticipating the parking issues. Really, if you're building that many square feet on a lot, you need a bigger lot to park your cars where they're not in the street and where these kids have somewhere to play. A lot of the kids, they'll have to walk quite a distance to go to any kind of a park. I think what they need to do is plan on um, more smaller parks um, so the kids have somewhere to play. But as far as preserving the lake and preserving this destination and preserving the property values of adjacent, uh, of adjacent land, I know these guys in Harborview on, are on over then an acre lots. Uh, in Lake Country here, the lots are all 15,000 square feet. If we're talking about putting 5,000 square foot lots here and 5,000 square foot lots here, these guys, I don't know what these are. These are 10, 15, 20 acres. Um, I'm sure they don't want 5,000 square foot lots next to them. That's going to lower their value. Over here in North Fork, it's the same deal. They got one acre lots at least. Um, then they're going to have uh, nine homes on an acre next to them. So I don't know if that's preserving... Uh, I don't know if that's being respectful of the property down there. No more A5 north of Basel Bailey. No more A5 west of Boat Club. I think these areas here, you need to respect the existing property values and there needs to be a plan for the future. The city promotes growth orderly growth and compatible development. That's what zoning is. So I think these homes that are put here need to be compatible with the existing adjacent homes. Um, the new homes here need to be compatible with Harborview. They need to be compatible with the 15,000 square foot lots in Lake Country. They need to be compatible with the uh, $6 million houses on the lake once they start pushing down the lake. So we need to protect our resources in this area. 
this area should be a destination like the special zoning districts in the south side, Trinity Lakes, Camp Bowie, Trinity River Uptown. We don't even have public transportation to get us to downtown. It seems like right now it's just sprawling and I don't think we can throw more A5 out here unless there's a real planned development and a special zoning district to handle that. So this is the adjacent land in Lake Country here. We've got big green belts. Boat launch area here. Green belts. There's green belts down every road. All the lots here. 15,000, pretty much 15,000 square feet in the whole area. All these people here. I added up the uh, 12,000 500 homes, this is $500 million, $500 million worth of property value right here. That's just in Lake Country, just rough adding it up. And there's several houses here that are, you know, um, well over a million dollars. Uh, so we need to think about duplicating that A5 and think about preserving some of these people's property values. This is a real gem on the lake. This is just one little section. Once we roll down Boat Club, um, there's a, a lot of nice stuff, a lot of uh, land that really should be preserved. And then really, you even go over here towards Lake Worth, it's the same thing. Uh, the, the trees, the rivers, the streams, all that stuff needs to really be thought about. Um, otherwise, I think it'll be a huge mistake. And two, you go develop that stuff and then you can't undevelop You'll have problems buying that land back when you're trying to put in a city center for the area or trying to figure out transportation plans. Um, it seems like the cities, uh, once they uh, do their eminent domain and they try to come back and, and recapture that property is when they have problems. So really right now seems like it would be the time to plan and um, make some provisions for a special zoning district and have a plan for this Eagle Mountain Lake area. This could generate a lot, of, a, a lot of revenue for the city and we'd be protecting a real special place of the city. What about?